In this video, we're going to use Artificial Intelligence Copilot to create a Power Automate floor. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Power Automate allows the connection of various processes. For example, I could say that I want to create a floor which is triggered by a particular event, which happens when I trigger it, or is scheduled every so often. And you can see on the screen some of the examples that you can use with Power Automate and some of the things that it can connect to. So you can get data from Microsoft Dataverse, for instance, and put it into OneDrive for Business. With AI Copilot, we'd also be able to just say what we want. Now, I can't do it on this particular screen because this environment is not in the right region. At the time of recording, you need to have an environment which is either in the United States or in Europe. I'm sure that this preview feature will expand into other countries as well. If you need to create a new environment for these testing purposes, you can go to the wheel, admin center, and then go to environments, new environment, and create an environment in the United States or in Europe. You should also add a Dataverse data store. So that is an online database if you want. So once you've done that, you then switch to this environment. So I'm going to switch to an environment called YouTube Copilot that I created earlier and just refresh. And you can see at the top, it has now changed. Start building your floor with Copilot. So describe in detail how you want your automation to work. Well, I can say, I want to record the weather every 30 minutes to an Excel 365 online spreadsheet. Now notice I've missed a few details. I've not said where the spreadsheet is. I've not said what weather I want to record. But the computer has created a flaw. It starts with a reoccurrence, so every 30 minutes. It will get the forecast for today and it will add a row into a table in Excel online. So you can click this is not what I'm looking for or you can alter the suggestion if you wish. So I'm going to click on next and now it needs to connect to weather and to Excel online and it's using my saved credentials. So I'll click next, otherwise you would need to add any credentials. And now it's going to ask you for the information that you haven't given it. So I want the weather from Orlando, Florida, and I want it to be in Imperial, so Fahrenheit. And where do I want it to save? I want it to save in OneDrive for Business, and within the document library called OneDrive, and in the file that I previously created called book, and in the table called table one, coming up here. So now that I've given the computer this optional information, I'm going to click on create flow. And now this creates this flow in the Power Automate window using a new preview editor. So if I click on Recurrence, you can see it's set up for every 30 minutes. Click Get Forecast for today, it's Orlando, Florida, and add a row into a table. Here you can see the information. Now suppose this wasn't quite right. Suppose I wanted not Orlando, Florida, but I wanted New York. Well, I could just change it here in this Properties pane. Or if I just click away from that, I can use Copilot to change it. So I'm going to say change the weather location forecast to New York. And Copilot, artificial intelligence, works on this and then says, well, what I'm going to change or have changed is the get forecast for today. So I'm not going to click on it while it's doing it, but there you can see it has updated this action and I can undo it. Check these actions to see if anything needs to be set and just to make sure that it's interpreted what you want correctly. So I'm going to click on Get Forecast for today. And here you can see New York. Now, generally for such small changes, it's better for me if I just click on the actual trigger or action and change it. So maybe I want it every 15 hours. Well, that can be changed very swiftly. 
So once you're done, you can close the co-pilot. It's still there if you want to reopen it at the top right. And then I can save it. So it's currently saving as I want to record the weather every 30 minutes to an Excel 365 online spreadsheet. Now for me, this isn't complete because if I click on add a row into this column, it's not actually saving anything. I would have to actually go into the parameters and say, I want the date format, I want the pressure, I want the humidity, I want all of these things to be saved. So I will save it again. So this is why it's really good to test everything. So here are some suggestions for prompts for Power Automate Copilot. First of all, when an email arrives from a particular address, then I want you to post it in Teams. When an item is created in SharePoint, send me a mobile notification. You can see that it gets my profile before doing so. Build a workflow that gets customer feedback from Microsoft Forms and adds the feedback into SharePoint. Send an email follow-up to the submitter. Include text in the body that thanks them for submitting feedback. When a user submits an event registration in Microsoft Forms, add the registration to the Dataverse, the database within Microsoft Power Platform, and send a confirmation to the form submitter with the event details. Automate the process of submitting, reviewing, and approving employee expenses. Design a workflow that notifies managers when new expense reports are submitted in a particular database, and then process reimbursement to the employee accounts. And you can see that we've got a condition based on whether the approval has been submitted or not, with different emails and updates happening. Automate the IT support ticketing system. Generate a ticket upon user request, categorize it based on the issue type, and assign it to the appropriate support team for resolution. Create a workflow that captures new leads from Microsoft Forms and adds them into the Dataverse. Set up an automated follow-up email sequence to nurture leads over time. Create a workflow that runs every day and gets items from the Dataverse. Put all of these items in a table and include a send an email action. And finally, build a workflow that routes or routes employee timesheets submitted in SharePoint for approval from the employee manager. If the manager approves, then send another approval to HR. If the manager rejects, notify the submitter and end the workflow. So these are some sample so in this video, we've had a look at how we can use artificial intelligence to create Power App Flows. You need an environment which is in the United States or in Europe, and then you can just start typing what you want to do. And then when you've done that, Copilot will create a flow which you can then authenticate and customize. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then why not click like and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. In the next video, we'll take an eight minute tour around Power Automate. It's there on the end screen. So if you want to see how you can create a Power Automate flow in just 10 minutes, then please click on that video. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.